Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, new hair, new background, who the hell is this? So if you guys didn't watch my vlog, yes, I got my hair done. I don't have my extensions in. I think I actually like my hair better without the extensions. I love that it's lighter. I'm thinking about going a little bit lighter. <laughs> but if you want to see my last video, make sure you go click it down below in the description or I'll have it in the eye up here. I have completely rearranged my room. So I have a new background. I have a completely new beauty kind of room so I'm definitely going to do a video on that because it's all clean and perfect now but anyway I'm not going to ramble too much as you can tell by the title I'm doing a full face of W7 makeup I'm super excited this has been very long overdue because I keep kind of like collecting bits and pieces as I see them and now I feel like I've got enough stuff to do a full face the only thing I'm really disappointed about is I did have a liquid concealer but now I don't know where it is but I do have a palette concealer I don't usually use these under my eyes but I will today so hopefully it works well um, as an eye base and underneath my eyes so I've just opened up my beauty room door because I need a bit of airflow in this room because it's a scorcher today in Melbourne hopefully you can't hear too much of the aircon I don't think you really can like it's never that loud so it should be fine so the first product I'm going to use today is the W7 brow parlor so this is a brow kit so you do get Get an eyebrow wax a highlighting shade for under the brow and then two eyebrow powders these are pretty dark I think I'll be able to get away with this one here it also comes with tweezers a little spoolie and then like a little brush but I'm just going to use my normal angled brush I'm going to start off with the eyebrow wax just so I get like a nice sticky base this wax is like really really thick And for my brow color, I think I'm only going to use this one today. Hopefully it doesn't like look too warm. So at the moment, I don't know how I feel about this brow powder. It's taking such a long time to build up color. And now that I've built it up, I've just made my brow too dark. Even when using the wax, I just feel like the powder was having so much trouble like sticking to my skin and my hair. It just kind of was falling off. So I don't know, like I don't feel like I'm really a big fan of this. And obviously like the brow powder is just not the color for me. It might be the color for some other people, but for my hair right now, it's definitely not the color. I'm going to clean up this brow now and I'm just going to use that concealer palette. I feel like my brow just looks really bad. Like it looks really muddy. It looks too dark. I don't know. I'm not a fan at all. I'm going to take this concealer just to carve out my brow. Okay, so my brows do look a little bit better after cleaning them up. The concealer is quite nice. It's very, very creamy and it has pretty good coverage. The only thing that kind of concerns me is because it is so creamy, I'm worried if maybe I use this underneath my eyes or as my eye base that it might move around a little bit, but I guess we'll just find out later. But anyway, now I'm going to do the exact same steps to this eyebrow. So my eyebrows are finally done. I feel like it took me 10 times longer to do than what it usually does. I probably wouldn't use this brow parlor again. It's just not for me. I felt like it was very powdery, very hard to apply. I did put eyebrow gel on. I didn't have one from W7, so I just did that off camera. The hairs on my brows are really, really, really long. So I kind of need it. Otherwise, they just kind of all like fall down on my face like little legs. But anyway, I'm going to use this concealer again. I think I might use this one here. And I'm going to put that on the lid as an eye base. I do have to say the coverage has really um, impressed me with this concealer. And I'm just going to pat it out with my finger. 
So for my eyeshadow today, I do have this little eyeshadow palette. It's very small and very cute. I don't know if I'll use this one today. I'm thinking I might use the W7 Blazon palette. This kind of reminds me of the Naked Heat palette. It's all warm tones. I think I might do like a warm tone kind of look today, but maybe do like a half cut crease. I'm not sure what I'm feeling at the moment. It does come with a brush, which has like a sponge tip applicator. And then it's got like this little um, synthetic brush on the end. I actually like this side. Um, if you're like wanting to pack on color on the brow bone or in the inner corner, it's even a really good lip brush. So I know they're very cheapy, but I find good use for them. So what I'm first going to do is grab this color here on a fluffy brush and I'm going to set down that concealer as it's already creasing. I thought it would, it's very creamy. Just going to lightly kind of pat over. I think it's actually a little bit darker than I thought it was. I might just go in with this one here. It does have a bit of shimmer to it though. I do have some face powders that I could have used but they're very dark and they're all like in the color fair but they're not fair at all. I'm going to take the same brush. By the way, this is a Morphe M513 brush. And I'm going to mix these two shades together and use that as a transition. So far, the brush is picking up really good pigment, which is good. I've used some W7 palettes in the past where you just can't even get any color on your brush. So this is good. Sorry, I thought I was recording when I started this eye, but I haven't done that much. I'm really enjoying these shadows so far. They're blending out like super easy, nice and smoky. And to blend out those edges, I'm just taking that light shade and just running that like over the top. This will just smooth it out a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my Jessup Tapered Blending Brush and I'm going to dip into this warmer matte shade. I'm just going to start building up that color. Wow, it's really going on there. I'm just going to continue building up that really warm shade on this outer corner and I am using a smaller brush. So I'm going to continue deepening up this eye look. To be honest, I am so, so, so surprised with the pigmentation coming out of this palette. It's actually very intense. Like, I don't know. I just didn't expect it. I've used plenty of other W7 palettes before and none of them worked like this one. This one is just really like popping I guess. So I think now I'm going to mix these two shades together and that's pretty much like all I'm going to do for deepening up the eye look and then I'll pick a color for my lid. I'm not sure where I want to go with this yet. This is what I've got so far. I'm definitely going to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow because I feel like it's just really blown out. I do have a little bit of fallout, but I definitely expected to have more. Um, the shadows were like a little bit powdery, but I don't really have like too much fallout. My next step for this eye look is to go back in with my concealer and I'm going to do a half cut crease. I tend to prefer like a half cut crease. I feel like when I do like a full one on me, it just looks funny. Some people look really good with them. And for me, I just feel like my eyes are so uneven that it just makes it look even more obvious that my eyes are really like uneven. Like I feel like I've got like a lazy side. That's just me though. So I think I'm going to go in with this gold shade and I'm going to focus this kind of on the center and then I might use like a lighter color on the inner corner. So to pack this color on, I have been using like a fluffy brush. I feel like it picks up the color a lot better. The shadow isn't wet or anything, like I'm just using a dry brush. And then when I get up close to the edge of the concealer, I'm just using a flat brush. 
I've also got this Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter Eyeshadow. I actually didn't even know that it said eyeshadow on it. I thought it was just like a face highlighter. I think maybe it's actually both because it says Shimmer Highlighter Eyeshadow. And this is what the shade looks like. It's a really beautiful reflective shade. So I'm actually going to press that on the inner corner. And I'll just blend those shades kind of together. And now I'm just going to take some of the matte shades and I'm just going to blend these edges together. I'm going to get rid of all this fallout underneath my eyes now. So far I think I'm pretty happy with the eye look. I kind of wish I used maybe a lighter um, lid shade so the cut crease stood out a little bit more but that's okay. I think the eye look turned out really pretty and all the shadows were really nice to use. I do have an eyeliner here. This is called the Very Vegan Liquid Eyeliner. That's the packaging there. Really cute, really simple. I like the green font on it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to like this eyeliner only because it's one of those really firm felt tip ones that have no flexibility to them and I feel like I just always stuff up my eyeliner with these kinds of ones. I think I already don't like this. It's not like that black. I have to kind of keep going over it and it doesn't go on very smoothly either. I hate this eyeliner. I don't like it. It's so like dry on my eye. Like it's just like tightening up and going really crumbly. It's actually peeling off my eye as I try to go over it. I just would never use this eyeliner again. I had a feeling it was going to be like this. This reminds me of like an eyeliner I used to use when I was like 14 years old. It's just not, it's not it. And for my mascara today, I'm going to use the Very Vegan Mascara. The wand is really big. I don't necessarily like really big mascara ones, only because like I do have small eyes and I tend to make a mess like of my eyeshadow and stuff. So the mascara wasn't the worst. I don't have the biggest lashes in the world. So my opinion on mascaras, they're kind of all the same to me. My favorite mascara is actually the Benefit Roller Lash because it really gets in there. I wasn't a fan of the wand, but I definitely feel like it did lift up my lashes. You can't really tell because I do like have eyeliner on, but it's not bad. It's not the worst mascara I've ever used. So now I'm going to put on some lashes. I'll have them listed down below and then we'll move on to the face makeup. So now we're going to go in with face primer. I've got this Prime Magic face primer and it's camera ready apparently. Apply face primer before foundation for a smooth and flawless complexion. Reduces the appearance of pores and fine lines making the complexion smooth and flawless. To be honest it just looks like a basic silicone primer. These are not my favorite but we're going to use it today. I feel like some of these just actually make my foundation slip off quicker and I get like really oily and greasy. It feels nice but I think it feels better than what it actually does kind of thing. So for foundation I'm going to use the Genius Feather Light Foundation. This one is in the color it's in the color sand beige so I don't know if this is gonna match me but we'll see. I don't really have any fake tan on whatever I do have it's kind of just left over but I did scrub it off yesterday. Wow it's very, very watery. I thought it was going to actually be thicker. I'm just going to take a foundation brush and start like rubbing this in. It's kind of just completely disappeared. So the foundation is really light, like what it says on the bottle. I can't even feel it. I feel like it's not covering a whole lot. It is a bit too dark for me. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's definitely um, darker than my neck. So I will have to bring it down a little bit. It's pretty much like a light kind of coverage foundation, maybe like a high light coverage if that makes sense. I definitely have built up a bit of coverage. It looks really nice. You can definitely still see my freckles, which I don't mind, but it looks really beautiful on the skin. The foundation is definitely darkened at least like a shade to two shades darker. I did have to bring it down my neck, but so far it looks really like smooth and velvety on the skin. So before we do go in with concealer, I forgot 
I actually had these contouring sticks so I might um, contour my cheekbones my nose and I might use a little bit of the highlighting shade as well I don't think I can use this it's so yellow and it's actually quite dark that's what it looks like on my hand but it's a very dark yellow I'm not going to use that. I do have two contouring shades. This one's like a really dark brown and this one's a little bit lighter. So I will use this one. I think the packaging of these are pretty cute. I'm not sure how much to use because I'm hoping like it blends out nice and easy. I'm going to try with a sponge. I don't really like it with a sponge. I'm going to go in with the brush, but I might have to add more. That's not too bad. Definitely easier to blend out with a brush. I'm going to use a small brush for this part. So now I'm going back in with my concealer palette. I'm going to mix this shade here and maybe this one because I don't want it to be like too light. I'm going to put some on my chin as well and over like any blemishes. So I think I definitely liked that concealer better on my eyes as an eye base instead of like on my face. It's very, very creamy, like I've said a hundred times, but it's just moving around everywhere. It's very shiny. So I probably wouldn't use that like under my eyes. I'd more likely use it maybe on blemishes or as an eye base or something to carve out my eyebrows. So I've got a few different face powders, but all of them are so, so dark. Like I've got this Banana Dreams Loose powder it looks way too yellow I don't think it's going to look too good I feel like this is going to look so yellow on me today depending how sheer it is so I do have two other face powders I've got the puff perfection powder in the color medium beige and I've also got the very vegan sheer loose powder and this one's in the color fair and it does not look fair at all this is the puff perfection one in the color medium so it's a bit understandable why this is darker and then this very vegan one which I love the packaging for it's so sturdy and really sleek but when you open this one up as you can see by the powder puff it is really dark it's darker than this foundation so I really don't know what to do I think I'm just going to have to take my chances on the banana one only because it is the brightest so let's see what happens pray for me please oh no I think I've made a really big mistake it's going so dark underneath my eyes. It's not even funny. You know what? I'm going to dust it off right now. It looks horrible. Oh my God, it looks horrible. This is not a good look. I'm going to try and put the very vegan powder over it and see what happens. This powder feels nicer, but is it gonna make this look nicer? I don't know. It was going so well guys and I think um, this whole makeup look is ruined now. <laughs> The next product I've got is the Very Vegan Matte Bronzer. I don't have any powder contour, so we're not going to do that today. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It's so, 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 so cute. It's like a tree, but it's shaped into like a love heart kind of print in here. And to kind of bronze and sculpt out my face, I'm going to use an Exo Beauty Medium Face Brush. I reckon you could totally get away with using this as a contour because the shade is not like crazy warm. It looks pretty nice actually. So now I've got the cheeky flusher blush and this one's in the color. I've got no idea. I don't know what the color is. I'll have to double check like on the internet. So as you can see, it's like a really orange um, kind of blush. It's got some shimmer through there. It's like NARS orgasm packaging. Kind of looks like orgasm, but not really. 
It's very, very shimmery. It is a very nice blush. If you don't like um, shimmer in your blush, then stay away from this one because it's packed full of it and it will definitely show like your pores and texture. Um, if you've got more mature skin, it's just going to accentuate it. So I do have two highlighters. I've got the Very Vegan Highlighting Powder. This one's in the color Nature's Glow. That's what the color looks like there. And of course I've got the Glow Commotion highlighter that I showed you guys before that I also used on my eyes. They look really similar. This one is like a tad darker. So I'm going to use um, this one for my face today. But any products that I haven't used today, I'll definitely use in another video. This is like really beautiful. I think it's one of my favorite things from today. It's very intense, so be careful with it. I'm also going to pop some in my inner corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do to finish off this makeup is do my lower lash line. I'm going to use the same colors that I use like in my crease. I'm going to put on mascara and then I think we've only got lips. I'm going to start off with this shade. I'm going to mix in this kind of really orange shade and probably just these ones as well and just blend them all together. I'm just finishing off with mascara and I've already got it on my face. I also just remembered I did not buy any pencil liners for my waterline so we're going to keep that bare. So now I'm going to pick a lip color. So I've got two cream lipsticks. I've also got this double dip skinny lipping matte duo. So it comes with a liquid lip and a lip liner. I think I want to actually use just a normal bullet lipstick today. So even though I'm not going to use the liquid lipstick today, I am going to use the lip liner out of that pack. I can definitely see where their inspiration comes from because it's got the drip marks on the liquid lip bottle. So, you know, bit of a Kylie ripoff there, but whatever. How many brands are like copying other brands these days? This lip liner is in the color Champagne. Very nice color and very creamy. I just put a little bit of this awesome autumn on my lips. Again, this is from that very vegan range. I think I like this color, so I'm going to use this. It's so creamy. The coverage on it is not like insane. It's like a sheer kind of lipstick. Guys, I think I'm in love with this lip combo. Like this is something I'm going to wear places. I love the lip liner and I love this color together. And it goes really well with the eye, obviously, because it's kind of like that orangey tone. Overall, like I'm really happy with how the makeup did turn out. Like I think it looks really beautiful and it looks so nice with like my blondish hair now. I think you guys know like what I really liked in this video and what I didn't. Like I obviously didn't like that banana powder. The face powders were a little bit like, I don't know, like I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I need to try them with different concealers and a different foundation to get a real feel for them. Eyeshadow palette, I loved it. Like if you just want a warm palette and you want to pay barely any money for it, I think I paid $10 for that eyeshadow palette. You need to get it because the pigmentation was insane. Like I said, the eyeliner was like a total miss for me. The foundation I need to try out again. Like I don't mind it, but I'm sweating so bad in this room that I can't tell if I like like it. So I don't know, I might wear it to work um, a couple days, see how I feel about it. The brow palette I wouldn't use again. It just took too long to do my brows. But yeah, I don't think there's like that much else I have to say. Like I said throughout the video what I liked and what I didn't anyway, so I won't recap everything A to Z. I feel like my arms don't match my face. If you want to see more one brand tutorials, make sure you don't forget to thumbs up the video. Comment down below. Let me know what other brands you would like to see. Don't 
don't say Catrice because I don't think I can get that here in Australia. I've had so many people ask me to um, do Catrice makeup and I can't find it here. So I might have to have a look around and see if I can get it shipped from somewhere. And also don't forget to come follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I seem to be using those the most. So if you want to check out my Instagram, I'll leave it right here. And if you want to check out my Twitter, I'll leave it here and it will also be at the end on the end card of this video. I felt like I was going to cough then so I was like struggling to speak. But on that note, I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!